Um, so this video uh, today is all about autopilot. I originally filmed this video back in March when we were on an earlier version of autopilot. At that time we were on 2018 10.4 so I'm just going through my notes that I made for that video at that time. So 2018 10.4. Since that we've had a few versions and now the car is on 2018 14.2 so that's the most recent update. With the original video what I decided to do was find out what version of autopilot I had in my car. So I went to the Tesla uh, Fi website and um, subscribed to that for free trial and that allowed me to find that my autopilot was version 2.5. So at least at that time, I knew that I, that I had the most recent hardware in my car. With that version um, came some minor changes. Uh, thankfully, we got the uh, auto wipers in the car, uh, coming on in the car, which are really good. And that subtly got um, better as the versions have gone along. But that's really useful now, a very welcome feature to be, uh, to be turned on. With, there are also uh, small facilities now on the app where you can open the, uh, the front and the boot using the phone and also you can heat the seats as well uh, in winter time when it's quite cold. With the update, uh, or updates in general, it, seems, it feels like it's a little bit random uh, when you get them but when you speak to people and look on the forums um, it seems to be more geolocation and one of the best ways to uh, apparently get your update is if you get near to the Tesla ser service centre or the service centre itself your car has got an increased chance of picking up the, the latest software versions uh, and also I've noticed that with the different versions of software some are picked up quickly, more quicker by the car than others seems like the bigger ones perhaps take longer to, to get rolled out Elon did a, a, a tweet I think it was uh, quite recently that he does plan to change that where it will be more on demand so it will get rolled out as it currently does now but you'll also have the ability to go in and demand the download so that will be a really welcome uh, change to the, the software when it does come a bit like your mobile phone does now where you can demand an update or on your, your Windows type devices run Windows update you'll be able to get that onto the car so that's good with the, the, the earlier versions of, of Autopilot, there were some um, interesting things it used to do. So and again, I made a note of those in here. Um, previous versions before 2018 10.4, so that was the one I was running before when I did the video originally. Um, the car had a tendency to, to keep, to the, certainly in the UK, the left-hand side of the lane uh, rather than down the centre lane. I've also had a couple of experiences where it's it's almost just put the brakes on, uh, almost for no reason whatsoever. Um, and it's only done it a couple of times, but I couldn't really work out why it actually just stabbed the brakes in effect. It also ha had an instance where um, once it didn't pick up a car coming on from the left hand side, uh, and I had to intervene at that point. And another one where going down the, the motor in the UK, when I was going into the slower lane, it, it sort of come back out again because I think what happened was, under the motorway bridge, where I was actually pulling into that lane, it detected the, uh, the barrier as, as some sort of obstacle and it, it sort of backed away from it. So that was a, a bit of a strange one. Also with that version, it took quite a while to change lanes. And in the video I just made recently, uh, it, uh, it does that a lot more but it did have a noticeable delay where you put the indicator on and then it would wait and then eventually it would change lanes both into the right hand lane or into the faster, faster lane uh, into, yeah, into the faster lane or slower lane but that I think now has definitely changed with the latest version it certainly speeded that up and I do actually mention it in the video with the current version as well one of the things that um, it seems to have done and it didn't do before and, you, you, and I do mention in the video is when you are pulling into in the UK again pulling into the slower lane um, if you are slightly faster than the car in the slower lane in front of you it will actually slow down and then pull in which you didn't used to do it almost wouldn't go in because there was a car there um, so that's welcome 
Autopilot, again, it is definitely, definitely, definitely usable in the UK. Or motorways, or much narrower in the US, because I've driven in the US quite a lot. Nice, in general, wide, wide expansive lanes, many lanes. We are narrower in the UK. I think the, the traffic's a lot more compact in certainly built-up areas. And it handles it very, very well. It again, it's no substitute for the driver. It is a driving aid. And there's been a... Um, on social media recently this guy um, has literally apparently he's been sat in the passenger seat of the car in the UK with the car on autopilot and he's been sat there and nobody in the driver's seat now to me that is absolutely crazy because you know you are 100% reliant on that car doing it yes further down the line when we're on that sort of level 5 autonomy or things like that and it's a lot more mature but now that is absolutely crazy so when I'm driving autopilot, I definitely, it says, keep your hand on the wheel. I do keep my hand on the wheel uh, very gently, just so it senses me there. And I do look in all the mirrors like you would do as you were driving yourself. So I treat it as though I'm driving, but I just let it, it do the accelerating and braking and the changing lanes. But I'm always looking in the mirrors, doing it as though I'm driving. But would I encourage you in the UK? Absolutely yes. If you're going on a long journey, it takes a lot of the stress out of that journey. You're able to relax, you're still focusing on what you're doing, but you can have good conversations, uh, and you can even you know, look around a little bit more, but you do get to your end destination that much more relaxed. Certainly in, in uh, built-up traffic, in, in motorways and traffic jams, it's a dream to use. The car does it all, you just keep an eye on what it's doing, and it's a lot more relaxed rather than you starting, stopping, etc, etc. So yeah. Autopilot, absolutely brilliant. I'm looking forward to the new versions coming out and the more and more autonomy it has. Uh, the Tesla website does say that it will pass handover to the driver seamlessly when you're coming on the off ramp. So that will be interesting to see. Put the autopilot on on the on ramp, let it join the motorway, let it go down, let it do the overtaking and coming back in and then let it take the off ramp and then pass over to you. That will be absolutely amazing and I do look forward to hopefully seeing that in the future. So this is the video for autopilot. You'll see the footage I've taped. Again, it's the, my first attempt at doing it with all the cameras, etc, etc. Uh, I'll try and do more as it improves uh, and I'll try and improve my setup as we go along. But hopefully you find this of use. Um, and if you do, please give a thumbs up. Remember to use my referral code uh, to get your free um, dis uh, discount money and also free supercharging for life while you have the car. See you on the next video. Okay, so we're um, using autopilot today. We're on uh, version 28.14.2. Uh, the original time I did this video, we're on an earlier, vision, uh, earlier version. I think it was 2014.10 uh, earlier in the year. Um, we've had a few revisions since then. Um, most of the videos in the US are, are uh, autopilot on, on much wider roads. So what's it like for us in the UK? Well, at the moment, uh, I'm on a, a motorway with two lanes. It's holding the centre of the lane very well. The, um, the lane changing's uh, quite good. Uh, and also there are some um, subtle differences in terms of uh, overtaking, which I'll show in a little bit of time during the video. So I'm just going to take this off ramp here and then uh, we'll do a bit more uh, annotation as we go along. Okay, so we're, uh, we're on autopilot now, we're on a three lane uh, motorway and uh, we're driving along quite nicely, it's, it's holding the lane uh, very well. I'm now going to put the left hand indicator on and then you'll see relatively quickly the left hand one uh, lane goes uh, dotted and it, in, it actually moved quite quickly into the inside lane. So that's one of the differences between the earlier version and the one now. The earlier version took a, a quite an absolute, you know, a good few seconds for it to actually think about moving in and then coming in itself. That one was a lot quicker. And it's obviously adjusting the speed to match for the vehicle in front. So you'll see it adjusting, slowing down slightly. So very soon I'm going to indicate to come out behind this vehicle. Uh, they're also doing it as well. So we'll put the indicator on. There's a car in the right hand lane, it's going to wait for that to go and now it's adjusting and indicating out and moving out behind that vehicle. It 
is now increasing a little bit in terms of speed to match the vehicle in front and happily following it from centre of the lane. So I'm going to wait till I get past this, um, this lorry here on the left hand side then I'm probably going to pull back in again uh, and see if I can um, pick up some of the features it's done quite recently in terms of adjusting speed, indicating and then pulling in, pulling out, uh, etc. So uh, yeah, we'll go a little bit further till we've gone this past this slower vehicle and then we'll indicate to move in. So now I'm putting the indicator on, it's waiting till I've gone past that vehicle and it's now slightly slowing down to come in to the gap, which is one thing it didn't used to do. It didn't used to slow down to actually pull into a gap, which it is doing now quite well. And again, we're adjusting to the speed, we're just slightly under the speed limit. So again, I'll indicate to come out nice and quickly, straight to it, it comes out, and then the car accelerates on, not the indicator off. Again, move back into the lower lane, indicator on. Almost instantaneously, it actually moves in and pulls into the to the slower lane. And that's one thing is slightly different in the UK, obviously, than the US. The lanes in the US motorways are a lot wider. In the UK, they're much narrower. Um, the traffic is quite intense. Now, this is quite interesting. So I'm covering the brake now, just in case, to see what happens when these vehicles join. It may match the speed and slow down. It may just seem to go on. So they've joined, it's not even adjusting the speed, which is absolutely good. When I've actually come across situations where vehicles have been joining, it's handled them every 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 one of them very well. But I've just been covering the brake just in case. So again, indicate to pull out. It's seeing there's no cars in the middle lane, and else it comes. So in the UK, the uh, the autopilot is very, very usable. Uh, again, you, it's no substitute for the driver you still look in your mirrors and everything to make sure everything's fine but it's a very very usable uh, autopilot method uh, and it um, it takes a lot of the stress out of the driving in terms of um, accelerating and braking etc it's taking all that away even the steering you're a lot more relaxed when you get to your destination so so far the version here we're running is very very good the long-term goal, if you actually look at the Tesla website, is to actually uh, pass the control to the driver seamlessly when you're coming off the off-ramp. So that's still a long way to go, but it'll be interesting. And I'm, I quite happily use the autopilot all the time when we're going, and uh, it's a very, very good system. And especially if you start getting the cars working together in terms of communication, you know, a lot of the accidents theoretically will go away because they're all working together as almost like a swarm to make sure the, uh, there are no accidents. So again, indicating to come out behind the caravan, there's plenty of space behind. There was a car in the outside lane, um, on the far right lane, uh, didn't see that as an issue. Uh, and driving along, again, centre of the lane. What it used to do in earlier versions is weave about a little bit in the lanes, uh, and thankfully it doesn't do that now. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very usable uh, current version, indicating, wait until I've gone for the car in the left hand side, and again pulling in seamlessly, knocking it off. Whether they actually get to the point where the, uh, the car makes the decision about indicating, I have no idea what's on the road, but, but that would be quite interesting. Um, but as they push the envelope with the, uh, the autopilot and take uh, more of the autonomy, automation away from the driver, it will be quite interesting to see how it goes. So, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I welcome any comments.